Laura Vint Forkel, better known as Lady Scully, is the 10th FNB Art Prize recipient. Lady Scully is an artist from Cape Town, South Africa, having graduated with a degree in history of art and Dutch literature. She will soon also hold her second solo exhibition titled Bound. The exhibition directly references various writings by and about women in captivity expecting to be released from evil regimes. Lady Scully joins us on Weekend Dawn this Saturday to chat a little about a more about this feat. Lady Scully, thank you for your time and thank you so much for joining us on Weekend Dawn. I just want to take things a little back in terms of uh, the name Lady Scully. Where did that name Lady Scully come from? Mm, I always um, answer this question in this way and sometimes it has a different answer. But mostly the word Scully was always used to kind of put so-called colored people in their place or make you understand that you don't belong in a space where you are. And I remember my mother always being the type of woman you ask her, Mama, Mama, did you see that outfit in church or wherever? And she says, I don't look to the sides, I look ahead, you know. So she was always this very uppity woman, and I always imagined that she was some kind of, like, elegant thug. Um, and so I think I just like to amalgamate those concepts of being in a place you're not supposed to be and also taking space there. So that's really where the word comes from. Now, let's talk about this solo exhibition, Bound. Um, what is the specific reason for going with the, this theme when it comes to your solo exhibition? Well, it kind of stems back to the fact that the space where I'm having the exhibition is part of Breakwater Prison. Um, and I think a lot of people forget that in Cape Town there's so many spaces that um, have a lot of evil in them. And now it's kind of been changed to a nice hotel, or let's say it's been changed to a boutique. Um, and you forget that very bad things happen there. And I think that in Cape Town, often we become very desensitized to spaces and how they architecturally affect us because we pass those places every day, not realizing um, the little portals of hell that's really created there. And I think a lot of money goes into masking and covering up um, those spaces, which is also spaces of um, very important historical happenings, even if they're negative. And so the, the space that I'm exhibiting in is right next to Breakwater Prison. Um, I'm guessing as South Africans, we've been feeling very bound this year. We've been feeling very isolated and away from other people. And so I've just been interested to find out how does that affect creativity? How does that affect um, our identity? And how do we really go about in this space where we're apparently free or democracy tells us we're really free, but we live these very bound constricted lives. Now, with regards to... And also, also, it's not my second solo exhibition. It is my second on in South Africa, but I've had a few elsewhere, too. <laughs> uh, now, in terms of uh, the 2020 FNB Art Prize, you being the 10th recipient of that, what does that do for your, for, for your profile or for your biography as Lady Scully? I mean, I've always been an artist that doesn't necessarily go the art way like I don't do it's not like I try to do a hundred solos and then slowly get into something I've always been very hard fast and now and I've always tried to jump over runs you know and so in terms of my profile like I've won other things I won the Mbokoto award last year I won GQ I won Glamour you know mm. women of the year but at the same time those are really great awards to have but they're not awards that necessarily carry a lot of weight in the art world um, which is a great perceived value kind of world and so I think for my profile if and B's just elevated it a bit further and it's made it so that I'm more validated within the fine art space um, and that's what it did for me and yourself as a fine artist who doesn't hold no limits when it comes to self-expression, what do you think is important to you? And, and, and what message do you, do you try and bring across to other younger people out there who are probably trying to get into the art space and they see, they, they see you? It's like a no-holds-barred uh, way of, of, of expressing yourself. Why is that important for any young person to know how important it is to express themselves in whatever choice or career they choose? Because I think I'm not that old. I'm 33, but in my living memory, there was a time where artists didn't make money. Um, mm -hmm. It was a very unusual career path to choose. It was something that you chose taking a risk, thinking that maybe I'm going to choose this path and I won't make money. 
even my parents sending me to an extracurricular little art school called the Peter Clark Art and Design Center in Newlands. Those are all risks I think that people took at that time, thinking, you know, oh, the child draws, the child has this. But I, for other young people, I would just like to say it is completely possible. You can make money, you can make a career, you can be known um, for something as simple as expressing yourself. And I think a lot of other career paths have a weird effect on us. It makes us think that if we do something more classic, like if we go into a nine to five type of job that, that has some kind of safety and security. But I think at the end of the day, as long as you are open in how you express yourself, you know, you will make it. And so I would just tell people to be consistent and practice and um, research and read a lot. You know, the art world is a make-believe world. So if you arm yourself with knowledge in it, you can get very far. <laughs> Ladies, Corley, visual artists have probably faced uh, a, a tough time over the past few months when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic. How were you personally affected by this pandemic, considering that galleries were closed and you, you can't exactly do any exhibitions where you have people coming in and looking at your work? Um, how, have you, how have you been riding this wave? I think the worst thing for me was I was living in a, in a flat. Um, I've had a very privileged time in this because I do one show a year. And I think for the past three years, the first time that I've been comfortable, I haven't had to worry too much about things like money or where it's going to come from. I didn't have to create work to sell it to survive, which I think is what a lot of people face here. Um, but three years ago, I was in a position where someone was telling me, you should do more sexy work, you know, you should do stuff that can really sell, not this darkness and talking about identity and talking. So I think that um, how I was affected is that I had to be in a space that I had never considered was actually not that great for me um, mentally. I was staying in a very weird, actually, I was staying very close to your studios. <laughs> that whole space can be, <laughs> can sometimes dampen your mood, you know. Mm. And I was living in a flat there that I then realized, well, with lockdown, this isn't doing well for me. And I've got to get out of here before I start making weird works that is affected by my surroundings. So I think for me, having to move in July was quite stressful under, under lockdown. And I think also anxiety wise, you know, you think that, that Corona is just floating in the clouds and, and what could happen to you. So um, I was a bit of a person that was just staying at home and drawing and drawing and drawing. And I think it leveled me up, but at the same time, it made me very confused of how to interact with other humans. So it's really nice to do Zoom meetings where I don't have to physically <laughs> be around other people. Uh, I'm sure so we Mental wise is how it affected me mostly. I won't lie, we would have preferred to have your, your, your amazing energy in studio, but because of technology... I'm never coming back to them. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I let you go quickly, Lady Scully, um, tell me about the solo exhibition, your second solo exhibition, Bound. Um, where is it taking place? How can people participate? Um, do you need to pay an entrance? How does it actually work? So that's always funny to me. People always ask me, is there an entrance fee? And I'm like, darling, no. <laughs> we do not uh, pay entrance fees at galleries. Um, it is going to be at Everard Reed in Cape Town, and that's in Portswood Road, um, you know, as you're coming up to the waterfront. Um, so that's on the 11th of November, and we start doing waves from five. So, you know, if you get there, you have an hour to be there, look at the work and get out. Um, so, yeah, 11 November, 5 p.m., Everard Reed. And then I'm also doing a performance on Friday the 13th if you're feeling brave, um, who knows? <laughs> Maybe there'll be some kind of crazy position happening. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Scully, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. That was Lady Scully chatting to us about her upcoming exhibition entitled Bound, as well as becoming the 10th recipient of the FNB Art Prize.